Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Holly Phoenix here and welcome to Sunken Land. I received this key from the developers, so I thought I'd let you know in advance that I received the key. Discovered new location, the Castaway Island. So I've played about an hour of this just to get familiar with it. And I understand roughly what we're doing. So I'm not a complete, complete noob. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't usually do this. I try to go into every game blind. But I decided to at least have a very small amount of knowledge about what I have to do. So we don't spend the entire time going, what the hell are we doing? How do we do this? How do we do that? So I have a basic understanding of different things. So we'll get some, get some wood. And our biggest uh, scavenging options are going to obviously be under the water. Hence the name Sunken Land. But thank you to developers for the key. And hopefully this will be a series you guys and girls can enjoy. Because for the short time that I played this. I actually thought it was very good. So for an early access game. I think they're onto something very, very cool. Right. So we're going to do that first. I'm going to kill this boy. This will be some food for us. Alright. Now building foundation bang right okay i'm happy with that that'll give us a fair bit of room uh we want to get a sack we want the diving fins yeah all right so hopefully you guys and girls enjoy this game let me know your thoughts and opinions if you've played it if you haven't and what you thought of it if you have because seemingly reviews wise and stuff it's all pretty good this is like a stove top you get charcoal and stuff out of them rubber ducky and that one very good very good strawberries up oh, inventory's full uh, I'll drop them. We're out of the strawberries. Oh, hello. I think you guys stack. Yep. Awesome. Then we'll make... We'll also make a storage container. So we can put this stuff away. A bit, it was a bit jittery then. Is there anything graphically I can do to prevent that? No, not really. Camera shakes off. Didn't feel like it was, but it is. Uh, we're going to put that there and that there. Everything else can go away except for maybe the bandages. Um, maybe the herbal medicine for now. Now, we head under Zwata and try and find what secrets can be discovered. Alright, what do we got down here? So those, those fish can't harm us. They're what we need to get the swimming fin upgrade though. So, we will be trying to kill them very shortly. For now, we'll get some scrap metal and stuff. We've got to watch our oxygen because you will die fairly fast if your oxygen runs out. Quick, 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 quick. What we need to find is a washing machine. Like, if you scavenge washing machines, you can get a fair amount of cloth out of them. So they're definitely a go-to thing to, to try and scavenge. It's going to quickly jump up here. Put this stuff back in the... Ch put more stuff in the chest. That I don't need on me. All right. Let's go kill some fishies real quick. What else did I need for those fins? Rope. So I need a fair amount of cloth. Is basically the scenario, okay? That is what we shall need. We also will need a fair amount of components for different things. Uh, so you can get that from what I can tell. You can get it from cars, toolboxes. Um, there may be, like, another one or two things you can get them from. I guess you can get them from, like, special crates. This game, you have pirates and stuff on islands around you. All different factions. And 
end, you want to try and take over their areas too if you can. I'm out of stamina. Just gotta wait. God damn it. Trying to hit these guys is really annoying. When you, especially when you don't have a spear that's very strong and it takes three or four hits. It's uh, a little annoying. Like that seems like we're close enough to hit, but it doesn't. And some ones hit and some don't. Oh, we got one. Was he bleeding then? I swear I saw blood come out after the fact. God damn, they're annoying, man. They can be a real nuisance. But honestly, from the short time I've played, I think this definitely has the potential to be one of the best survival game, early access indie games of the year. It definitely has that potential. And I hope the developers, like, continue to work on it. They seem to be updating it very frequently, trying to fix stuff, so that is always a positive. And you got developers that seem to really care about it, and they didn't just release it and piss off. Alright, so we got that. Now we just need to find enough cloth to make the rope to even to make them. Because it will definitely help us loot. It will help us loot indeed. We gotta make sure we get these cars because we really want components. Help me make better weapons mainly. And then obviously different parts, but like try and get a decent weapon early on would be good. This should give us cloth. Anything that seems to make sense that would give you cloth usually does give you cloth. And I don't want to sound like an expert. I'm just talking through what short gameplay I've experienced. Oh, high-end watch. You can sell those at the traders. They've all got like a value set to them. So different values. You just got to play around and try and get the best deal you can with the traders. Because it's almost like a bartering system. It's not just straight up. You earn cash and then that's it. Uh... Pick that up now. Alright, let's go drop some more of this stuff off. Our first little bit's just going to be a lot of resource gathering stuff, trying to build up a decent bit of uh, gear and stuff before we go and try and kill anything. We don't want to push our luck and end up getting killed, right? So, we need to be careful. I can place this. This is a decoration, an exquisite dining piece. Very, very nice. Alright. Like I said, we just keep going. We just keep going in and in and in and just getting bits and pieces over and over again. Eventually, we'll have a decent set of stuff. There's a toolbox down here. These are really good to get. A lot of components in there. These are also good. Antibiotics and bandages. Fridge. Whoa, had a fair amount of stuff. Old oil painting, happy childhood. Was that what it said? I'm going to get this one because this one should give me cloth. Yeah. All right, go, 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 go. I'm going to take a little bit of health damage here. There we go. Like I said, it may seem a little bit boring at the start, but then again, every survival game starts off roughly the same way, right? Like, pudding, baked beans, soda I can put down here. Oil painting. Alright, that's full now. We are getting there, we are getting there. So that's the trader just there, you can see. So the trader is not far. I know in the future, like, looking at the road map, the plan is to not have a static map. It's to have some form of random generation, so each playthrough feels a bit different. And I think that'll be really cool once that is implemented. For now, though, we get to learn the map. I've only explored a very small amount around the starting island, and that's about it, so... 
We're going to be learning together for the most part. Which I think is, you know, it's a fun thing to do, right? I don't want to come in knowing everything. I'm not doing, like, a complete guides channel. Like, I'm not doing guide videos, so... This is still a let's play. Not quite a walkthrough. Do not have enough knowledge about the game for a walkthrough, though. And I've noticed the crappier looking the cars, the less chance you get for components, and you usually get more metal scrap than anything else. Which I guess does make sense. Right. I don't know whether we have enough cloth for the rope we need yet. It would be nice if we did, though, because... The swimming fins really would help us out a lot with looting some of this stuff that's down deeper. And I'm swimming back and forth, because if you point down, you don't go directly down. You've got to kind of shift side to side to be able to go down more or less straight. Let's just say if this could have some really good stuff in it. Right, and then we get this real quick, and then we go straight to the surface. Alright, beautiful. We should be fine. We're going to take some health damage again, but that's fine. We can get that back with a little bit of food. There we are. We're Gucci. We've got a motorboat blueprint. That's pretty good. Got a sofa chair and decorative swords. Love that. Very good, very good. Alright. Get some more wood real quick. I did... I could get the crude axe, but... We'll stick with this really shitty one for a minute. Just for now. Just for the now now. So I did have a little bit of a conversation topic. It's a bit random. Um... But it pertains to my car, so I own a Captiva, yeah, or as some people like to call them a Craptiva. And and some of the, the models, especially before 2012, were notorious for having issues, so I brought a 2013 model. And I haven't had, you know, really bad luck with it or anything. I haven't had it for a hell of a long time, though, to be fair. But all of a sudden, it lost all compression in its engine, which was awesome, so the car would not go. It turns out it was just a little copper... A uh, little copper washer at the bottom of my fuel injector, which is awesome. It didn't have the car for like a month because trying to get in the mechanics around here was busted. And then it turns out it was just all for that. It was a bit annoying. All right. So now what we can do is we can put these up. Maybe. Maybe. What? Have I somehow got these backwards or something? I do, don't I? It's gonna let me place them on the outside, isn't it? No? What? Oh, what the fuck? That is not... <sighs> Whatever. It looks like shit, mate. I have to make one of those packing up boxes to even move it as well. Um... Fuck, I don't even really... Oh, it's not where I wanted it. God damn it. Let's see if anything fits in here real quick. The rest of it we'll just pick back up. Right. We should make another storage crate, but we need more hood. Make another one. You can stack them. I should have really tucked it in the corner nice and tight. All these mistakes I'm making. Right. And then sort that. We can also place that, which will free up another spot. Ah, oh, beautiful. Doesn't that look fucking lovely? Do this as well. Big duck boy. No real reason for it. Like, they, there's no necessity to them at all, other than the fact that, oh, it's something different. Right, so... Uh, we can make three rope. And then... Oh, now we're too cloth short. You're fucking joking. All right. That's fine. Um, we just need another building that's not super far down if we can. Quickly 
can grab components potentially from this plus the scrap metal. Is that the airbag? Why is the airbag rusty? <laughs> Why? Cars being down underwater that long, the airbag went rusty. Is that even a thing that can happen? Not metal, so that doesn't make any sense. Makes zero sense, actually. It's so weird. I just kind of want some easy, easy loot to go to till we get these diving fins that can actually dive deep down easily. Because... Otherwise, it's a little annoying. And I believe as we get further out to harder areas, we will encounter sharks rather than just these boys. Um... I was going to make that, wasn't I? I had enough rope. I'm a dumbass. Why do I think about the sack? I'm going freaking insane. I'm losing my mind. Plenty of strawberries, though. We can pretty much like, can live off them a little bit. They're good eats. Alright. Uh... Where's the rope? I need the rope, and I need this. Sweet. Right. Now we have a means of going a little bit faster under the water, at least. That should make it a bit better. Um, I probably do want to try and make a simple bed. Ten wood and three cloth. Because you want to be able to pass the night time by. Uh, sweet. That'll be a big help to skip the night. Because you will start to freeze as it gets later in the, in the... Like, as it gets darker, you will start to freeze. Wow, we are so much faster with these. Holy shit. Like a night and day difference in speed. Just wanted to look around a little bit. I looted most of this building, didn't I? Yep. Oh. Look up top. So you see these islands, these guys have got different factions on it. So if I go to the faction map, you've got the mutants, the marauders, the slavers, the salvation clan, the hunters union, the war. Heads tribe, and you've got different enemy counts and how many islands they occupy. Which I think is pretty damn cool. I don't know whether the taking over the islands is implemented yet. I'm not sure. But if it is, a lot of fun to be had. All right, we're going to be quick about this because it's getting dark for one. And two, we're going to start freezing if we stay underwater because it gets really late. Is that a grandfather clock? I'm going to grab that. We're going to do this as well. The bottom floor generally has the best stuff I've noticed in a lot of these buildings. For whatever reason. Because I guess you'd think you'd work from the top down. Although, oh shit, we gotta be quick, gotta be quick, gotta be quick, gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Fuck, that's a bit long. Oh, it's not too far to the surface. We'll take some health damage, but we'll be fine. Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's quickly go down and try and grab a little bit more if we can. cloth especially out of here. Hey, see, now I'm starting to freeze. Um, I better go and make a fire real quick. Hopefully I have the materials I need to do that. Yes, we're good. Just need to make a fire to keep us warm, although actually, no, what we could do is we'll just sleep. I think we won't take damage if we sleep. We should be alright. You can see the screen shakes. Your character starts to shake when he's freezing. 
It's not bedtime. Fuck. Alright, uh, fireball. This will warm us up. I think it might be after 8.30 or something that it allows you to go to bed. I'm not sure. But I also don't, under uh, don't understand the 20.7 and then the 5.10. Is that my temperature or something? I don't get it. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, cool. We got a clock. Love that for me. Right. We're good. Um, how much cloth we got total? It's not going to be enough. No, six is not enough. It's not bedtime. Wait, did we sleep through the... I'm confused whether it's becoming nighttime or daytime. I'm not freezing anymore, so I'm confused. Seems like it's fine, so we'll just go. It does, Actually, it is brighter, so it definitely, I think, worked. Well, that does look like dusk, but it could be dawn. Right, get in there. Get rid of this thing. Right. Down the bottom. I want to try and clear these out if I can for what they do have. Try not to leave too much behind because every resource is precious at this point. Like, there's really nothing we don't need, so we're just going to collect everything as we go along and we should be fine. Ooh, yes. Diving pills, they're very good. Means we can stay underwater longer. I should have made a stamina one as well. Like, do a stamina one and then a diving one and combo them together. You will probably smash out a fair amount of scavenging if we do that. Oh, made it. Without even taking health damage. What a champion. So you can see there's people on that boat. They're right there and there. Very hard to see, I know. Me jumping up and down is not exactly easy to see them. If I had a pair of binoculars, I would show you. But I do not possess those at the moment, so... It is a bit hard to show you. Is that the bottom floor? No, this is... No toolbox. There is scrap metal. I want to get that truck. That is something I want to quickly get. Should hopefully give us a few components. Scrap metal. Rubber's good. Rubber will need a fair amount of, so rubber's very good as well. So I only ever made the workbench. Look, I never got around to making the armorer's workbench or anything, or the gun workbench that's in here, so I haven't gotten up that far. Like, I didn't really play that much. I wanted all of my stuff to be on camera. I just wanted to be familiar with the controls and how you make shit, and that was it, really. Because there's no real tutorial either, so... It makes that... That does make it difficult, too. I'd rather fuck that off and keep the wood, to be honest. We're going to need planks to build shit. We're like, we're going to have to set up actual defenses and everything. It's going to be, it's going to be a process that I have not experienced yet. I've only gotten to the point where I killed some pirates on a boat and then they raided me a couple times. Like three or four mutant looking motherfuckers. So yeah, I harvest this. No. Maybe you can if you're at the bottom of it. You, maybe there's a harvest option, I'm not sure. Yeah, like moving up in the world, brought a couch and stuff today. Like, all these things, just slowly getting there with things. Alright, uh... Let's see... Can 
gonna keep putting them there. Cool. Uh, what do I need for the stamina one? A mushroom and strawberry, that's right. So now, if we go bang and then bang in one of these. I do want to get the sack made first, though. Six cloth and one rope. We can do that now. We get more carry weight now as well. Like, we get an entire extra row, I think, yeah? Yep. A whole another five slots, so that's huge. Right. Uh... So we'll bang these two together and we go down there and we'll be Gucci. Um, hmm. I was trying to think if there's anything else I need right this second. I should make this. Actually, I will make that. So everything has to be placed on a foundation. That's the only thing I have noticed. Like, even your grills and stuff have to be placed on foundations, which I'm not necessarily sure I support, but... You know, it's it's fine. I'm going to do that. Something different. Make it wrap. I'm not much of a builder. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I am not great at building at all. Um, but... I do try. Right. So... We got that. I need to get that as well for water. I'm not super fussed about it instantly because we have a fair amount of soda as it is. Uh, and we do have baked beans that can sustain us for a tiny bit. So we're not super desperate on food or drink, but I wanted to get that made anyway before I forget to get it made. All right, so if we swim over, we'll swim over to where the, the apartments are. And then we'll take the lung booster med and the stamina med and just pump as much shit as we can. And we probably want to try and also get ourselves a boat. So if we get these boats, they have chests on the back of them that we can use, which then we can store more items in. So we can go put the boat above this area, drop down, loot, fill up the chest, go back down, do it again. So, all right, let's go. Wait, why was that already depleted? Was I under the water a bit? I want to start from dead on. There we go. Sweet. I want to make sure we try and get as much of this stuff as we can in a run. Put that on. Don't want to take in our precious inventory room that we're going to need for materials and stuff. You know? Same as that and that you can go in there as well. These are good. Dumpsters seem to be really good for stuff. I've seen found blueprints and stuff in there as well. These are fantastic as well. Right. Go up for a second. Get some air. I mean, I'm not, to be honest, I don't really want to collect every single decoration. I'm just going to fill up my base with shit. But I'll take ones that are kind of, like the wall ones, I don't mind so much. The ones that need to be placed on the floor, they take up a fair amount of space. And I don't think they're really worth having. Unless there's something very cool. Right, tires are super good. You can get like five or six rubber out of them, so they're very, very good. I wonder, I think maybe all the locations of the spawns are exactly the same as well for dumpsters and all that shit. Right. There's a skirt. Put a skirt on, bro. Why not? Get around it. Get around it, everybody. Right, scrap metal is not tippy top of the priority list. Components and stuff are. Safes are good though. Safes can pretty much, I think, have every anything in them, so. Magazine, another blueprint. Which we can use straight away. Clear up the inventory, put shoes on, clear up more inventory. 
And our diving time and stamina boost have expired now as well, so... We're gonna keep an eye on that more. We should get... Mm, is it leather out of this? We're just gonna get wood planks. No, we got leather. Alright. So now we're gonna keep a closer eye on our oxygen levels, because it's not gonna last as long as it was. Yeah, so most, uh, probably, probably a majority of this first episode is just getting a very basic base established with means to craft basic things, right? And then next episode, I want to get into trying killing some stuff. Depending on how far we get through in this episode. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on. Oh, there's goggles in there. Where are the goggles? There. Do they actually do anything for me? Plus one to armor. What is this one? I honestly prefer the scarf over the goggles, thanks. Uh, can be crafted into a new armor in an armor workshop. them in there. Sweet. Just gonna dive down, get this car real quick, and then we'll head back to base and drop this stuff off. And see what else we can make. Like, just bits of progress at a time. Um, I've noticed from just the raids, we're probably gonna end up having to set up some defenses, like walls and stuff, which is gonna be kind of a pain because I'm not the greatest at that but I shall give it a shot that is for sure I will give it the old college try I'm right, just gonna make something slightly more secure if I can I'm gonna put a ladder down here as well and then Wooden wall with door slot. And then door. Alright. Sweet. We need a bit more wood though. Just so we can finish off, at least put a roof on it. I want to try and have a finished, like a little tiny finished base by the end of this episode if we can. It's always nice to have at least something uh, complete at the end of every episode of you know, whatever game you do, really, or at every session, at least then you know you've got something complete at the end of the day. You can see you've done something. I don't want to knock down all the trees, because I think some of these trees, like, they slowly drop those logs over time, like, one at, one, one at a time, like the planks. They just randomly drop them, unless they just spawn on the ground. I'm not sure whether it's because of the trees being here, or whether they just randomly spawn. I am not positive about that. An interesting way into the base, too. Maybe, oh, well, yeah. Alright, let's see. So we're going to need these pillars as well. So we put some of these pillars around... We should be able to place some wooden roofs without too much issue. Unless it wants to be a bastard like it is at the moment. Okay. 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 No. It's a little annoying. I need another pillar here. And then a wood roof. Oh, you want, you want one in the middle, don't you? That's probably what it wants. Maybe. Come on, asshole. What do you want? It better not be because of that fucking clock.
Or else do you want me to put one there? Why will you not snap to the pillars, bro? Will you do it now? I can't, because I have no more wood. Do I have wood in here? I have a little bit. Okay, I have enough just to check it, at least. Thank fuck. I mean, there's a pillar in every corner here, so what's your problem with this spot? It has to be the clock or something. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, that looks pretty fucking janky, being floating up there. I thought that was in a better spot than that. It is not. But, it's like we have a sunroof, kind of. But we do have a house to live in, so that is progress, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I call progress. So. I want to get a few of these before we go trading for anything, if we can. But what we can do is I can grab this out and we can chuck a bit of crab meat and it just starts cooking, mate. Look at it. Pretty cool, huh? Do I take damage if I stand on this? No. Okay, good to know. Always good to know if you're going to take damage from standing on a stove top. And it appears we are not, so that is a good thing. Oh, beautiful. Head up here. It's kind of annoying that I have to make... There is a way to pack this stuff up, and it's this. Use to pack placed objects back in your inventory, but you need eight wooden logs to do it, which is like... Eh. Annoying, to say the least. A little annoying. How much are the planters, actually? The planter boxes. There's planter boxes you can get. They're probably in here. Mm. Yeah, there. 12 wood and 2 cloth. The cloth kills me more than the wood does. But what we might have to do, if we want to continue to have more wood, apart from what we collect under the water, we may have to try and kill some people on some of these islands and steal them their trees. So... That is something I would like to try and do, is steal some of their trees at some point. That could be good. Alright, there we go. Nah, I didn't want that. I'll take that, though. Any bits of wood I can find, I shall partake in. Right, let's see. We'll make this thing, just to test our theory. Okay. Let's check if we can place the wooden roof. Why will it not place there? That's really annoying because there's clearly pillar there, pillar there, pillar there, and pillar there. And we can't get it to place. Can we get it to place this direction? I don't think it matters. Which way you go, it just doesn't want to place in that one spot for some reason, which is really freaking annoying me now. Okay. Uh, research table actually is a good shout to get as well. If we can get that done, that would be good. Uh, metal scrap, plenty of that. Let's get a research table going. Let's maybe put it... It's going to be in the way of it. What about here? Uh, take the food, and we shall eat that shit. Roasted crab. 40 health, 20 energy. Fuck yeah. So here's all these things we can learn. This automatically catches fish, which is super nice. Um, do we have a rope by chance? No, I'll just make one. Fuck it. Right. So we research it. Once you've researched it, you still need to build it. So it'll cost you usually more more resources to build than what it did to actually, say, it's two components and three rope instead of one and one. Whatever it was. 
Uh, two components and three rope. Do I have components on me still? I do. Alright. One, two, three. Get a fishing net. This will help us with food as well. It's always a good thing. And it's got a little marker on it so you can see. And you can change the color if you have multiple. So you know which is which. So I'd like to learn this and probably the crossbow. I need that. I'll grab that. And the components. I think I've got everything. Boom. Right. But to make it, which we can, actually, that's good. All right, we made that. And then... Crossbows. Uh, there's components in here still. No, I don't want the symbol pur purifier. I wanted... Oh, uh, you know what, actually? We'll get this. This is probably more worthwhile, to be honest. Get ourselves a paddle boat, because we will need to use it. So we'll do that real quick as well. There we go. Just wanted to get it placed the right way. Awesome. Alright. I think we've made really good progress for first episode, honestly. I think we've made very, very good progress. So you can upgrade it up to four times. You can see it starts getting more and more complicated. We've got advanced parts here. I haven't even seen those yet, so I have no idea what that's all about. At all. It's almost bedtime. Very close. I think 7 o'clock must be the... The time when it lets you actually sleep, yeah? Has to be. No, not quite. Maybe it's exactly 24 hours from whatever time you sleep. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, let's me. It's like 7.30. By the way, the packing box doesn't go away, so that's awesome, which means we can actually use it to move this. Which is fantastic. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's sleep. And it is so instantaneous. I am hungry. Let's get some food in me real quick. There we go. We can do that and that and we're good. Would you just look at that? Look at it. Look at what we have made today. Or yesterday, whatever. Oh, that's kind of clipping through the wall. That doesn't look so great. But that'll do for now. I think we've done very well for ourselves for the first day. So anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of the first episode of Sunken Land. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Sunken Land in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace!